Hey friends, it's Jessie Girl here. And I'm back with my second uh, makeup tutorial video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my first makeup tutorial if video. If you've seen it already, I thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, but if you haven't seen it yet, I'll post the link down below in the description box. And I really gotta thank my best friend, Gal. I consider her my sister. I have to really thank her for helping me out with uh, the filming of this video. So yeah. Alright guys, so today's look is very cute and fun. Uh, it's actually inspired by Valentine's Day. And when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of a lot of pinks, some purples, and also a bit of browns. So this is today's look that we're going to be doing today. And uh, as you can see, it's very bright and very fun and uh, this look could definitely be worn uh, when you're going out on a date with someone very special so yeah it's very very flirty and uh, that's today's look that we're going to be doing so if you would like to know how I created this look then just stay tuned and we'll get into the tutorial see you guys in a bit alright so first thing I'm going to do is fill in my eyebrows and here I'm holding the MAC brow shader in the color walnut and I'll be applying this with my MAC 266 brush and uh, when filling in my eyebrows I like to begin on the arch uh, of my eyebrow and use small short strokes to fill them in now I believe that this is a very important step because when you fill in your eyebrows it gives them definition and it also helps to really frame your eyes and uh, I like to fill my eyebrows in every day because mine aren't as thick as I'd like them to be as you can see they're very very thin and uh, yeah, it just really helps them to stand out more. Okay, next I'm taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I will be applying this to my eyelid and also applying a little bit to my lower lash line. Uh, this will help to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing, it will make my eyeshadow look more vibrant in color, and it will help to make my eyeshadow last longer as well. And here I'm just using my finger to apply the product onto my lid and to my lower lash line. Okay, now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the color Cherry and I'll be applying this to my eyelid. And this is going to serve as a sticky base for the eyeshadow to stick to. And since this is a red color, this will help the pink eyeshadow that I will be using to look even brighter. And that's what we're aiming for in this look. And I'm just using my finger to blend this evenly on my lid. And I don't want the color to pass the crease of my eye because this product is really creamy and it does crease very easily so I'm just focusing the color on my lid and blending it evenly. Now I'm going into my Coastal Sense 88 color eyeshadow palette and I'm choosing that pink shade for my first eyeshadow color. I will be applying this using my MAC 239 brush. And I'm using patting motions to apply the color onto my lid and applying eyeshadow in this motion really helps to pack on the color. I'm also gently brushing over the edges of the eyeshadow to help blend and soften the harsh line. And to help blend the harsh line even further, I'm taking my MAC 224 brush and I'm going to gently brush over the edges of my eyeshadow and soften the color a little bit more. Then 
the next color I'm using is a medium purple shade and I've got my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to focus this color onto the outer corner of my eye and I'm gently patting and sort of using a windshield wiper motion to help this color blend more nicely with the pink color that we used earlier. Here I'm choosing a light brown color and I'll be applying this with my MAC 224 brush and this will be going into the crease right above the pink and purple eyeshadows. And since this brush is really fluffy, this will help to blend all the colors nicely and the light brown eyeshadow will serve as a nice transition color between the eyeshadow on my lid and my brow bone highlight color which I'll be applying right after this. Here I'm choosing an eyeshadow shade that's just a little bit lighter than my skin tone and I'm going to be using a regular flat eyeshadow brush that I got from Walmart and this is going to be my <clears throat> brow bone highlight color. Next, I'm going back to that same purple color that I used in the outer corner of my eye and I'll be taking my MAC 219 pencil brush and I'm going to apply this color along my lower lash line and taking a little bit of the color into the inner corner of my eye as well. Alright, cool, time to use eyeliner. Here I'm using the CoverGirl Line Exact Liquid Liner in the color 600 Very Black. And as you can see, I'm starting in the middle of my eye and working my way out. I'm adding a little wing at the end of my eye to give that cat eye effect. And in my opinion, doing this uh, makes the eyes look very sultry and sexy, and we are definitely aiming for that in this look. And then I just continue to line the rest of my eye very carefully. Now it's time to curl the eyelashes. I'm using the Shu Ulimura eyelash curler to curl my ever so straight Asian eyelashes. I like to take my time with this so that my eyelashes curl properly. All right, and the mascara of choice is Maybelline the Falsies in the color Black Drama. I carefully brush the mascara through my lashes, and if you notice, every now and then I like to wiggle the brush through my lashes, starting at the root and working my way to the tips of the eyelashes and uh, this ensures that the product is evenly distributed and helps to build volume as well. Okay, and we can't forget about the lower lashes, they need some loving too. Next, I'm taking my MAC Eye Coal Pencil in the color Fascinating and I'll be lining my waterline 
Uh, doing this really helps to open the eyes and adds that little extra something to make my eyes very noticeable. Is that enough? Nope, I'll just add a bit more. <laughs> All right, we're done with the eyes. Here I'm taking my NARS blush in the color Super Orgasm, and I just take a regular face powder brush and I, that I got from Walmart and apply this to my cheekbones to add a nice natural flesh to my face. And just in case you didn't hear me the first time, yes, I did say Super Orgasm. Very interesting name for a blush if I do say so myself. Okay, next I'm using my Too Faced Invisible Candlelight Softly Illuminating Face Powder. I'm going to apply this with my MAC 129 brush, and I'm just placing it on the top of my cheekbones, as you can see here. I also like to apply this across my forehead. A little bit on my chin and also down the bridge of my nose and this helps to really highlight my face and give it that really nice glow okay now on to the lips I've got my Too Faced perfect lips lip liner and I'm going to line my lips with this uh, the color of this is very nude and the purpose of this is to cover the natural color of my lips so that the true color of the lipstick I'm going to be using will show through. And uh, when I line my lips, I like to rest some of my fingers on my chin to help with the stability of lining my lips very carefully. Okay, the lipstick I'm using here is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in the color 852 Silk. And uh, since my eye makeup is very vibrant, I want to keep the color on my lips very neutral and simple. I don't want to take away the attention of my eye makeup by wearing a bright and bold lip color. The focus for this look is, is the eyes, so I just want to keep the lips very, very simple. And here I'm just blending the lip color more evenly with my finger. Next, I'm taking my Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in the color Sunrise Nude, as you can see here. And uh, this will add the perfect hint of shine and glossiness to my lips. All done, hooray! Okay, so this look is all done, and now you're ready to go on your special Valentine's Day I date. hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and add me as a friend and please stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!